Lizzie. Where has she gone? Hello. Oh my god. Can't actually even film her on normal camera because she jumps too high. Dad's absolutely pissing himself. The fact he's just found out. A week or two for 30kg. Well, I haven't weighed it yet, but my case. No. <laughs> no, but the thing is, it's my case. It's my case. It's so heavy. It's metal. Oh, take your carry bag. You won't need anything. Update, everybody. My camera has not arrived and I'm a little bit stressed because I really just like the other vlogging camera. I'm currently vlogging on my phone. I know you guys probably don't even care or maybe even notice, but like for myself, it really bugs me. So I'm hoping to get a camera at the airport, but I'm leaving in about half an hour. I've actually just had to swap all of my case around. So I packed a huge suitcase and then I realized if I want to get a seaplane when I get to the other side, which is basically how you get to the islands, um, you have to pack super light. And I've done the biggest, I've literally challenged myself. I've never packed this light in my entire entire lifetime honestly i literally have no clothes i'm actually not exaggerating like i actually promise you guys i was just on facetime to anna and i was like babe i don't understand i filled up half a suitcase of products but i use so many products and the products i use i use religiously like i can't go out without my like particular face wash that i use every day and i bring my own shampoo and conditioner because of extensions and like i don't know shampoo and conditioner is like looking after your skin it's really important like hair products and yeah i just have a lot of products i actually can't even believe i filled up half my case with that i have actually now got two suitcases so i've got my little hand luggage here basically you're allowed to take 5kg in hand luggage so i'm hoping this is 5kg i'm gonna wait in a minute and then i've i can pack 22 kg in my suitcase which i know you're probably thinking stuff that's still 27 kg but i actually am not joking i genuinely have two dresses i have maybe like three cover-ups some pajamas i actually am waiting on a parcel if it comes and i've definitely got some more trousers and bits and bobs i'm gonna take i'm gonna shove them in the case because i have actually still got room upstairs which is good but yeah i actually can't believe i'm leaving so soon and i need to explain actually why i'm gonna be traveling by myself so the reason for this is actually i need to shut this door now basically i, I don't even know what i've explained in this vlog but I, so basically i'm going on a brand trip with kalani bikinis which i absolutely love like i love their bikinis imogen actually introduced me to their bikinis they're the most insane quality and they're so cute and so yeah they invited us just knowing that Imogen and I were just huge fans of the brand obviously I'm not turning it down like it's been my dream forever I have like three bucket list destinations and this is one of them the top being Tokyo that's my dream to go to one day and you know what I've actually gone to go to the Maldives twice and both times I've gone to go I've not ended up going actually that's a lie because one time I didn't actually book it but the second time I had we actually had it booked and then we ended up splitting up so I always wanted to go like the love of my life but that was like been my dream and <laughs> it's not happening now Imogen's the love of my life because I'm going with Imogen instead but there was no way I was turning it down I actually can't believe it I feel so incredibly lucky I'm actually I know I'm not even there yet but I know I'm gonna feel really proud of myself because I've never truly had like enough confidence like when I go on holiday and stuff like you know like all of us girls and guys like just get insecure when you're in bikinis or like not having your top off or whatever and I've always felt like that and with this trip I just thought Do you know what like we always want what we can't have and I always want more and six months ago I wanted to get to the body that I have now and so I feel like you know we're never going to be truly satisfied and right now I actually am the happiest I've ever felt within myself and I thought do you know what Saffron like who actually cares it's such an amazing brand it's such an amazing opportunity and so yeah I'm really really excited but to explain why I'm actually going by myself basically originally Imogen and I were both going today so the rest of the girls are flying tomorrow and the team are flying tomorrow into the Maldives. But Imogen and I wanted to book it early um, because it's literally been my dream forever. So the trip is four days long, which it's obviously very far away to go for four days, but obviously such like yeah who the hell is going to turn that down so me and Imogen wanted to book just for like one extra night just so like we could experience it and my dream is always to be always has been to be in a sea room and so Imogen and I had like booked our flights and stuff and then last minute Imogen realized it was actually her nan's birthday so Imogen changed her flights to go the next day but obviously like we had booked everything by then so I booked my flight I booked my hotel so Imogen's like just go like you may as well go you've always wanted to experience a sea room so I thought yeah do you know what like I actually enjoyed traveling by myself i've actually only i think traveled once by myself i went to brazil by myself when am i 
ever else travel by myself. Well, I've never like, so I've always met people on the other side. Like I've never stayed like in a hotel room by myself or had to get like a seaplane by myself. Like that's actually, I'm not even scared. I'm actually genuinely so excited. But yeah, so I'm going out the day early. Also, the flights were just so much better this day. So Imogen was like, there's no point. Like you're going to end up adding like six hours onto the flight because Imogen's got a stopover, whereas my flight's a direct flight. Um, So she's like, honestly, like I'm like, please, please go. So yeah, I didn't change my flight. I've ended up staying on this flight and I actually am going to experience a sea, uh, a sea room, which I'm so excited for. Because I think the brand have booked us like beach villas, which obviously still be incredible. But I love the water. I truly love the water. And my mum and dad just said it's the most incredible thing you'll ever experience. So yeah, I'm super excited. Oh my God, that was a postman. I actually made me jump. He's going to ring the doorbell and it goes off forever. Hang on. Yeah, it goes off forever. I feel like this is a bit weird right now because I'm just showing you me in my underwear. But honestly, if I was wearing a bikini, it wouldn't make any difference. So I'm just going to show you anyways. But I ordered these trousers. They're so cool. By the way, I have actually got even half now. I've really wanted to wear them. But guys, why is everything this... Well, to be fair, I'm wearing it so low-waisted. But this is how I wanted to wear them. I wanted to like high-rise the bikinis and then wear the trousers like this. But I don't think I can because look how long they are. And I got it in blue and they're so nice and blue. Oh my God, how cute are these capri pants? No, I mean, it's literally giving dirty dancing. Honestly, probably about six months ago when I liked these. But now I love them. They're definitely too big. I think I need to size down. But oh my God, they're so cute. I love. She's so annoyed because I've got everything in two bigger sizes. But how insane are these fla uh, flowers? Are these trousers? Oh my God, guys, look. Oh my God, nearly flipped. Oh my God, flipped, slipped. Words aren't coming out today. I could not show you these. They're insane. Definitely would size down in them. Oh my God. How on earth is this PLT? It's giving expensive. Oh my God, I love it. Look at it up close. Oh my God, it's so cute. I'm actually obsessed with everything I've bought and now I need to try and find room for it. And I'm thinking maybe I'm not going to be able to take the sea plane. <laughs> right now the most insane like cutest things happened to me ever and i just got upgraded for free to business class like i actually feel like honestly i just feel emotional i thought i could cry right now that was the nicest like flight attendant i like probably ever met in my life <laughs> Just come into the lounge, I'm making the most of it. Gone up for my first serving, probably of many. I got some tomato and pasta. Yeah, tomato pasta. <laughs> then this is a courgette apparently from the fish and chip shop. And it actually tastes really, really good. Also so happy guys. I actually bought a vlog camera. So this is actually the camera that Anna uses. I'll show you what it looks like. And it's really cool because it does like widescreen. But I just, the thing is I really struggled when I used hers before to get used to it. But I'm gonna really give it my best shot because I do love the camera and it's like really tiny. So yeah, gonna see what this is all about. So I'm on the flight. Um, they just gave me this like little hand towel and it's like heated and it was really nice. And I actually, well, hand towel, face towel. And I actually just wiped my face with it and it was so refreshing and nice. Um, and then I've got my headphones here that they've given you. And I've just been sat here trying to decide what to watch. But I think I'm actually going to watch the new Planet of the Apes. The food menu on this flight is probably one of the best. I'm so hungry right now. This looks so good. How good does that look? It's like half past eight and we're just having food. I don't eat so early, so I'm so excited. I've landed and I'm so excited. Look where I am. I'm just really hoping that my luggage doesn't weigh too much. Oh my God, fingers crossed. So I've just checked in to the lounge. So they're actually going to come and pick me up, pick me up and collect me, which is just like crazy within itself. It's so cool. And it's just like cute that you even have like a separate boarding pass, which I know like obviously you're getting on a plane, but I kind of just thought I'd go straight from my plane, like straight into this, that makes sense. But yeah, you have to check into the lounge and stuff. Um, and then I just come onto the balcony and look like, guys, this is what I'm getting in. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh my god, this is so cool, this is so exciting. Oh my god, you guys. I've actually just been freaked out. I'm sat here having my lunch. 
I've never ever experienced anything like this. I mean, I'm going to talk to you properly when I'm in the room, but my parents, I was excited to come here, obviously. I've always hoped for coming here, but it's just, I've been here about 10 minutes and it's exceeded every expectation. And my parents have always said to me, they're like, honestly, sir, pictures and videos don't do it justice. And I've been here about 10 minutes. First of all, the staff at this hotel is absolutely incredible. It's called Kadena, this is what the hotel's called. Oh no, Kadima. It's called Kadima, the hotel. It's absolutely huge. I'm just about to go to my room, see my room. It's a water villa. It literally goes straight into the water. Like, actually, how mad is that? The views. I've just, I've never seen anything like it. The water is so clear. I'm gonna go snorkeling. <laughs> I'm actually so excited. I'm actually like low-key freaking out. And the buffet is insane. It's absolutely incredible. Um, just having myself some lunch and then, yeah, gonna go to the room. And at some point I need to show this buffet because it's absolutely insane. Oh my goodness, I have been so excited. So I just literally filmed everything on my phone and just realized, oh my God, I didn't even vlog the room tour. So I'm gonna give you a room tour. I've changed into my PJs and I'm actually gonna be going to go snorkeling in a second. I've only got like half an hour. I just put these on because I didn't know what to wear for the meantime and my joggers were just so thick, even though I actually am wearing long sleeves right now, but like these are really airy and nice. Anyways, oh my God, it's actually insane. I've already made a mess of everything. Like I've been sat on the bed and stuff and I've just made a mess everywhere but this is the room it's absolutely huge like it's so spacious i love a room that you can like actually open up your cases but guys actually wait for the best bit are you actually ready for this you never would have seen anything quite like it look at this bathroom are you joking look at my view i've just never seen water so clear in my life it's absolutely insane i'm freaking out i've always dreamt of staying in a hotel where you can just jump into the sea i love the sea so so much and it's just absolutely stunning like all of the all of the all of the details like look at it look at the shower even the shower just looks absolutely incredible so this is what it looks like as you come through and then look when you come through the doors look what you see how amazing is this and it's just so peaceful so peaceful honestly i could also lay here topless nobody would even see me it's like so private and nice but yeah this is where i will be spending my time i mean i'm gonna be going snorkeling but when i get back i'm pretty sure i'm just gonna spend some time in the sea it's gonna be so nice guys look at the water you can't even explain how clear it is i've never seen anything quite like it and also it's really cute as well because there's an app on the phone and you can order like everything to your room like if you need service or anything like that i'm going to show you the app in a second because i actually can't believe it but yeah this is an overview of the room honestly i have been freaking out i've actually been freaking out because i've just always dreamt of a room like this i actually can't believe that i'm here right now it's actually crazy so yeah i'm so excited oh my god but i'm gonna go snorkeling because i literally have i think i have like half an hour until i have to be there and there's like two different sessions so they actually take you out and so i don't want to miss out on doing that i thought i'm here for a day by myself so i mean i feel like we're actually going to do it with the group anyways but yeah i'm gonna go get changed now so excited <laughs> This is where you'll find me whilst I'm waiting to go to where I need to go to to go snorkeling. Um, I'm just waiting at the bus stop. vlogging on this camera and it's so weird but I have had the most incredible day ever 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 it's been absolutely insane I literally I look such a mess I just got out of the bath snorkeling was absolutely surreal I haven't stopped going on about how clear the water is and um, therefore guys you can only imagine what it was like I really wish I had a GoPro but Imogen's buying a GoPro at the airport so we can actually film when we go snorkeling and stuff so I think I, I'm, I keep trying to think like what have I even explained in this vlog but I have explained that Imogen's coming tomorrow. When she comes tomorrow, she's actually coming with the Kalani Keeney's team. They basically have a bunch of surprises. So the manager at the hotel has been saying to me, he's like, you wait until you see what they've booked for you to do. He said, you are gonna be full on, but you're gonna have the most insane time ever. I love anything. Like, I'm such an adrenaline junkie. I love the water. And so he was saying to me, well, you are, you are in the best place for it. This hotel is basically made for that way. I'm gonna put this on its little tripod. <gasps> this is so cute, this new little camera. <gasps> 
where I'm actually obsessed. Oh my God, this is gonna be like my new favorite thing ever. But yeah, he would say that they, they booked so much for us. So I'm really happy that Imogen's getting a GoPro so that I can actually film and show you guys. Because honestly, I ended up seeing a shark. I saw like a really, really large eel. Um, what else did we see? Every, lots of people saw a turtle. I actually didn't see a turtle. And I'm trying to think what else I saw. Oh my God, I literally saw all of the fishes from Brandon Nemo. <laughs> so basically when I, like I swam out and I was really stupid. I didn't actually get a life jacket. Like I just didn't really think. I'm, I'm quite a good swimmer, so I didn't really think about it. But then I went out and I was thinking, oh my God, I need a life jacket. And basically my goggles kept filling up water. So I kept trying to make it tighter, but trying to like put goggles back on, not having a life jacket and being so deep is actually quite hard. So the guy swam out to me and then he was like diving underwater and he was like, come with me, come dive underwater. And it's funny because I've never really been scared of water. I never thought I would be scared. I was only scared because of my ears. As you guys know, I've suffered badly with my ears. I've had, I don't even know, like over 11 operations. I've spoken about about it quite a lot. That's why I have like bad hearing and also, yeah, I'm just really prone to ear infections. It's still the same. And so when I was going down with him, oh my God, like my ears, the like the pressure, it was actually crazy. But I'm so happy because I ended up just following him the entire time. And he was just showing me everything. He was showing me like seaweed cucumbers and like swimming right up to things. And it was just so cool. And it's crazy because I don't think if I was by myself that he necessarily would have done that. And and I felt like everybody on the boat that I, like the boat to go out to where we're snorkeling, like really made an effort with me and it was so sweet. It was so funny though, because this one guy was talking to me and I think he probably thought, oh Jesus Christ, I know why she's on her own. Cause I didn't stop talking. Cause I thought I want to make the most of like talking to people. And I've never made such an effort to talk to people either. You know, like I, I don't want to literally just be me, myself, and my thoughts 24 seven, even though it's really nice. But yeah, it was just absolutely incredible. So I'm gutted I could actually show you guys, but it was insane. And so the next few days when we're doing it, I'm sure I'll be showing you. There's so much to do here. There's scuba diving. I really want to do scuba diving and I'm pretty sure the team have booked it for us, but I just don't know if my ears are going to be able to take it. Like I'm quite nervous about my ears. So I'm going to speak to them. Maybe there's something I can cover my ears and maybe it won't be so bad. But I just got back, I just had a bath. I am going to, what am I gonna do? I am going to, I can't remember what I was gonna say, I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna get changed and I'm gonna go for some dinner by myself. I'm not like gonna get full glam because I feel like time's already getting on and it's like, it's literally dark outside. It gets dark so early here. Half five, the sun starts setting, which is actually crazy. So yeah, I'm gonna go for dinner, which is gonna be really weird going for dinner by myself, but yeah, I don't really care. Oh my God, also, basically there's like a bus because this resort is so big. So the bus that drops me to my um, villa. And then when I was coming back, the buggy that I got on, it was the same guy that I met when I first went to my villa. He was like, oh my God, it's you again. And when everyone else got off, he was like, do you wanna come sit next to me in the front? And it was just so cute. Like I really feel as if everyone's making such an effort for me to not be alone. I really also do think it looks like this was supposed to be my honeymoon and something really bad happened because of the fact that the Maldives is kind of like the place of love. You know, if I was in the US, it's quite normal to go by yourself. But I tell you what, it's not stopping me. I'm gonna go to that restaurant. I can't wait. It's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be so nice. Can't wait for some good food. Oh my God, and then also tonight as well, they have like a cinema on the beach. So I wanna make both of those things. So I do need to get ready quickly. <laughs> I have put on some makeup and obviously washed my hair. My hair just isn't hairing today. And I was gonna go to like a fancy restaurant, but basically I either have, I only have like dressy, well, I say dressy, just like very, no, actually everything looks kind of dressy. I have very dressy clothes and this is my only non-dressy clothes. So I think I'm honestly just gonna go to the buffet. Uh, yeah, I was gonna go to like an a la carte restaurant, but you have to like book it in advance and I haven't done that. So I don't really know how difficult it is to do that. So I'm just gonna wait to go to them the rest of the trip with all the other girls and I'm gonna go to the buffet. So let's go to the buffet now. You can't see a thing right now, it's crazy. Crazy how dark it is at 8 p.m. It's pitch black to be fair It probably will get like this soon in the UK, but it's so weird that it was it was dark from about 5 30 Which is crazy. Anyways, I'm just waiting. Well, I'm not waiting I'm walking and then I'm gonna go wait to go on the bus um, Because there's nowhere I could even walk to the main reception like it would take me 
forever yeah to then go to the buffet so this is what the buffet looks like there is so much option obviously i came here for lunch and i couldn't believe it and wow what i actually love is the fact that they really have changed up everything oh my goodness look at all of this oh i love shepherd's pie i actually might get shepherd's pie that's like a proper homemade dish and they got a casserole oh my god yum i literally had this at the lounge but that was honestly tomato pasta i love tomato pasta god i'm actually gonna want everything no but why am i such a child like i actually want chicken nuggets they have all of these amazing things and i want chicken nuggets also another thing i absolutely love is vegetable puree well i think it's just carrot it looks like carrot i love carrot and swede oh my god buttered pasta oh my god all of this food looks insane then we've also got i feel like i'm going to be giving everyone food over here there's roast lamb as well i actually think i've said i love everything but i really do i mean i love everything aside from the fish because as we know i don't eat fish oh my god that looks banging chicken and trio pepper that's like my two favorite things i'm definitely getting some of that too oh my god it's the way i didn't see this huge salad bar how phenomenal was this my mum would be in her absolute element oh my god and Libby and Imogen oh my god when Imogen comes to see this she's actually gonna die oh my god the way that she loves sushi oh my god I did not even know they had this entire section like look at all the salads and stuff that they have this is actually incredible honestly there would have been a time where I know it's only a buffet but there's no way like literally no way I would have come out and gone to the buffet by myself like I would have just because you can order like food to the room and I 100% would have done that but I don't know I feel like when you grow up sometimes you just realise that like nothing's that deep no one really cares that much you know I can't believe really how good this food is here like I know I've only had the buffet but it's actually insane so yummy god I can't wait for breakfast I don't well I do eat breakfast but I don't normally eat until 12 but I tell you what I'll be up at the crack of dawn tomorrow eating breakfast oh my god this sweet or vegetable puree, whatever you want to call it, is insane. I always think when I'm eating this, though, it literally is baby food. So I've just been sat here listening to Sabrina Carpenter's Slim Pickens. It's actually my... Wait, I can't see. Hang on. Slim Pickens is actually my favourite song of hers. I love it so much. And we're sat by the beach. It's so nice. I'm actually just going to walk back to my host house. I haven't done any steps on my body today. So I just felt like I wanted to walk back rather than get the bus. But oh my god, it's like the, the sound of the waves it's actually incredible oh, i love it here so much good morning everyone i'm so sorry i didn't end the vlog last night because i honestly i came back from dinner and i absolutely crashed i was so tired i literally took off my makeup and i just passed out and what's crazy is it would have maybe been like 10 p.m here which is like 6 p.m in the uk time and I was honestly flat out exhausted and then I only woke up this morning to imaging actually FaceTiming me because she had landed so I had the best night's sleep ever honestly I slept like a literal baby it was so nice but therefore I didn't end the vlog but oh my god guys come and have a look at this view that I have woken up to it's oh my god it's just absolutely insane I woke up and I forgot for a moment how clear this water was I'm actually just gonna spend this morning going for a little swim walking down here here i mean how gorgeous is it and it's so nice and hot out and i got a special delivery so this isn't the room that i'm obviously staying in with kalani so to update you so imogen obviously arrives today and today we're meeting all of the kalani kini's team and I've, i'm actually staying in a different room so i'll be moving from this room apparently it's going to be absolutely absolutely incredible the hotel keeps saying to me wait until you see your next room and i don't know how it can top this it's insane one thing i do know though is we actually have our own pool because i I heard one of like the staff members talk about it so i'm really excited about that even though i don't even need a pool like the sea is already enough for me i just just can't believe it but just to wear this morning before we check into the rooms they've given me two bikinis oh my goodness they are gorgeous look at this green one everyone knows that green is my favorite color and look how gorgeous this green bandy bikini is and then also they've given me this blue one as well it's absolutely stunning so yeah i will be chilling today until imogen gets here wearing my new bikini the quality of their bikinis is just to die for so i actually can't wait kalani thank you so much and i will see you guys in the next vlog for the kalani kinis trip so i'll see you guys then bye